Hey folks, Brett the Bee Man Cole here. Just wanted to chat a little bit about uh, Herb Guy's Honey House. First of all, it's really important um, when, if you do go to uh, people's apiaries, uh, make sure that they are using modern uh, equipment. Like this is a stainless steel, water uh, jacketed bottling tank. So you can uh, gently warm it, um, the, the, the honey, in case it's crystallized. Uh, to, to liquefy it using a controlled food grade stainless steel uh, op, uh, equipment as opposed to the old fashioned homemade uh, um, barrels with lead soldering and stuff like that. So um, uh, that, that's an important feature. Um, I devote this sink here, uh, th th this is a second sink in our house. Uh, it's exclusively just for, uh, like there's no dishwashing going on here. It's just for bottling honey and herbs um, uh, with purified water. Uh, cleanliness is obviously very important. Let's move into uh, some beehive products. Obviously honey. We've got honey for sale. Uh, I sell 500 grams, um, uh, actually uh, 175 gram honey, 500 gram jars, one kilo. Uh, my current kilo price, uh, we are 2013 right now, is 15 bucks. It has been that since last summer. I'm going to keep it there for a number, a number of years. But this is uh, wildflower, unpasteurized. Uh, the word organic is debatable. I like wildflower. I, I mean, I live, I live in the Great White North in bush. I'm not around uh, commercial farmer's fields or uh, industrial chemicals or anything like that. Uh, another product that... Uh, is amazing that comes out of uh, the hive are these granules here uh, they th this is called uh, bee pollen and uh, there's a link on my research part of my site uh, where you can research uh, the virtues of pollen primarily it is uh, uh, vitamins minerals amino acids uh, every known vitamin and mineral that science knows about and that's easily verified. Uh, you can go to um, agricultural university websites so like the U University of Guelph or in Quebec, uh, Laval. Um, uh, each country does a lot of research on that. Another great product that I do a lot of research personally on is propolis. Now, it might be hard to see this reddish brown resin um, up close. Uh, we can scan it while. Um, uh, in a beehive sometime, but the uh, propolis often comes in amber to protect it, liquid form, alcohol water-based uh, 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 a product. And I want to read what it does. Instead of going by memory, I'll just read it. And I think we can post this on the site as well. Many plants produce gums and resins at wound sites or around buds and new leaves. These substances waterproof the area and protect it from attack by potential invaders such as bacteria, molds, yeast, fungi, insects, and other pests. Honeybees gather these gums and resins and use them in a similar way inside the hive, sealing cracks, embalming larger invaders like mice or crickets or beetles, reducing the front entrance from uh, in invading insects, particularly wasps and ants, actually. Uh, the word pro means before, like proverb. The word polis is a city. So it's before the city. It's the wall before a city. It's a line of defense. That's why the ancient Greeks called that. Uh, so it's a fortified line of defense. And it's very easy to see it in the hive. One day I'll, I'll, I'll take a picture of that too. This, will, uh, this wall acts in both a chemical and physical manner. Physically, its sticky nature acts like a waterproofing cement and serves to trap many lower life forms such as ants. On a chemical level, propolis is primarily resinous in nature, being made up of flavonoids comprised of sev several types of flavones, which have a number of carbon atoms and show a high degree of antibacterial activity. A well-known flavanol found in propolis is called quercetin. The, the best known plant sources for gums and resins are frankincense, myrrh, balsam of Peru, and balm of Gilead, which is from poplar buds, sourced from trees around the globe since an antiqu antiquity. Uh, poplar buds, and there are three major subspecies, are coniferous evergreens 
and they are the primary resin source for bees in Canada. Definitely in, uh, uh, you know, from Manitoba to Quebec. Um, uh, thus, to further research and understand the chemical medicinal properties of propolis, one simply needs to look up these four tree resin sources in botanical monographs. Uh, for example, the 90, 1992 British Herbal Compendium lists detailed chemical constituents of three popular species along with their actions, pharmacology, uses, and contraindication. It clearly states that propolis has a very similar chemical fingerprint to that of poplar bud resin. Now, uh, I, I'm reading this and I, I make references, which I'll post on my website. Uh, the, the, the most scientific reference for you doctors would be British Herbal, uh, the British Herbal Compendium, Volume 1, 1992, page 27 to 30. And what it says is that the traditional actions and uses of propolis are that it's an antiseptic, so a disinfectant, expectorant, anti-inflammatory, and it is antioxidant. Now, this is verified by the Canadian Natural Health Directorate's website on July 31st, 2009. Now, um, it, often it's mixed as a topical salve or internally either as a tincture, like I showed a second ago, uh, or uh, throat lozenges, and I've seen them as suckers and capsules, and sometimes they even put it in gum. So again, obviously you need to check contraindications. You need to uh, speak to a qualified practitioner. A naturopathic doctor is great. They're found uh, right in Toronto, Ontario. Uh, they, they are on Leslie Street, uh, Shepherd and Leslie, 1255 Shepherd Avenue. Um, and uh, you, can, you, you can get a hold of naturopaths to verify this kind of information and then get to your favorite beekeeper, or contact me, I'll set you up with some uh, propolis if you feel that you could use it in, uh, in your uh, healing uh, uh, regimen. Thank you.